my genius. I hope you can't hear the lawnmower guys. They are loud. We are going to do a breakdown of breath work today. What do I do to prepare for breath work? How does Dr. Joe do it? All the steps in Dr. Joe's breath work. And how do I do mine? How is my breath different? <clears throat> okay, let's begin. So, why do we do breath work? We are trying to, yes, so I'll talk about the pink box and the play box. Some of you guys have questions about the pink box and the play box. Okay, so we do breath work because there's life force energy at the bottom of your, the base of your spine. Most people never move that energy up. Most people never realize how unbelievably powerful that is. It can turn you divine. It can unlock the mystic in you. It can, it can turn you into an alchemist. You can materialize things. You can play with the energies. You can heal yourself. You can heal your traumas. You can disconnect from your past. You can pick from the potential, infinite potentials of your future, of your desired state of being. Based on your vibrational match, you, you will get your realities. And if you don't, of course, if you get happiness above your threshold, your happiness tolerance, what will happen is you'll sabotage it. Your subconscious mind will sabotage it. Because it doesn't matter if anything is good, bad, or amazing. It will be very uncomfortable for your entire body, for you mentally unless it is also familiar. Anyway, breath work. So, because it's, base, it's in the base of your spine, and it can move up only through your spinal fluid, cerebrospinal fluid, which is full of charged molecules. And when you move that energy up, it creates a conductance, right? What do you call it? piezoelectric effect. So the frequency is lower down here, and as it moves up, the frequency gets faster. It gets really fast as it goes up. So we're going to first talk about it from a think box perspective, because we want no confusion into why we are doing it and how we're going to do it. Because when we enter our play box, which is you sit down and you're about to meditate and you're going to do a couple breaths, but you're not meditating. You just want to change your state, right? You just want to become magnetic. You just want to change your energy. You just want to raise your vibration and you're going to do a breath. You don't want to be thinking about, wait, what am I supposed to do? No, it should be very clear to you exactly what steps you're going to try. Now you can try the way Dr. Joe teaches it. I have demonstrated it on YouTube. It's available for you guys to see it. If you can't find it, let me know. And I will post it in the community somewhere so you guys can see it. Again, so there's a Dr. Joe's way of doing it. So think box. We know why we're moving the energy. We want to shoot it up through our head so we can become magnetic. Our energetic field becomes magnetic. <clears throat> so now how do we do it? So Dr. Joe wants you to sit up straight, keep your spine as straight as possible so that when you extend your spine, you, you make the cerebral spinal fluid um, pathway thinner. And when you make it thinner, it already starts to move the energy up. And then when you squeeze your perineum, when you do a Kegel, right, front and back. So when you squeeze your perineum and you exhale all the way, which makes it easy for you to pull your stomach in towards your spine. You pull your stomach in towards the spine and you hold it there. And then you squeeze your perineum, that's number one. And then you squeeze number two and you hold them there together. 
Then you squeeze number three, and then you hold all three together, and you're slowly one energy center at a time, moving energy up, right? And then you'll, you'll tighten your back, and you'll tighten number four, and you'll slowly, and you'll have to hold everything together. As you take a very slow inhale, and as you tighten everything up now, Dr. Joe doesn't say this, I say this, you only tighten everything below your neck. So you only tighten one, two, three, and four. That's it. And then you just simply hold it with your chest full of air. So when you do that, your goal is to move energy to your heart. Once you move the energy to heart, the only way the energy can go is up. And it'll go up by itself. From here onwards, it'll just go up by itself. Now, to me, that's too many steps. Squeeze one, hold it. Squeeze two, hold one and two together. Now separately squeeze three and hold all three. I don't know how to do that. It's very difficult. Now, I know I figured it out. It took me six months to figure it out. And I demonstrated it, how it affected me live on YouTube. So, and then the energy will go up. You'll go, woo, and you'll, you know, you'll have some effects. You might shake a lot. You might fall off. You might make funny sounds. But in any case, it turns you magnetic brings you in a higher state of being, and then when you meditate, the process is much more fun. Now, how do I do it that's different? <sighs> okay, so my style is a fast and short style. Why do I say it's fast and short? Because it takes me maybe four or five seconds, four to five seconds, and I'm gone. I just leave, and I go places. And I told you guys I fell off the chair, right, in the, in the retreat. I mean, I fall all the time. I just, at home, I'm more prepared with my ecosystem so I don't get hurt. And, you know, I had, uh, I had Sananda sitting next to me. I fell on her one time. Thank you, Sananda. <laughs> I had Jamie sitting with me one time. I fell on her. And one time I was on the, on the corner seat, and I just fell on the floor. I just wake up, and my face is just getting squished on the floor. I'm like, where am I? Anyway, so my breath. The way I do it, very, very simple. I'm not going to do it. It's not the time to do it. I already did breath like 10 times earlier, and I, it was amazing. Okay. So, a few steps. Let's count. Count with me. Exhale all the way from your mouth. Tuck your stomach in, two. Squeeze your perineum, three. Slow inhale, very slow inhale. So as I do an inhale, I just imagine energy bouncing to my belly button, which is two, and bouncing to my upper belly, which is three, and bouncing to my heart, which is four, bouncing to my throat, which is five, bouncing my, to my pineal gland, which is six, and all the way to seven, I just go, boop, 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 boop. I just imagine it bouncing up as I take my breath. And it goes to all the way at the top. I imagine something sitting at the top so I can feel the weight with my attention. And I immediately start feeling tingles at the top of my head. So exhale all the way. Tuck your stomach in. Squeeze your perineum. Take your breath. Take your breath with your attention all the way to seven. Tighten your back, hold everything together for five, four, three, two, one. When you're ready, exhale and relax. Try both versions. Write me in an email, Instagram, comments. Let me know which one works, which one doesn't work. If you're turning yourself blue, you're doing it wrong. The way I teach it, you tighten nothing below your, your, your throat. You, you don't tighten anything above your throat, above your chest. You bring, you force your energy up to your chest, and from there to the seven, you are inspiring energy to go up with just your attention. Because when you put attention on your seven, 
which is easier for most people to pay attention to than six. That's why I do seven, and it works like magic every single time. It dings the pineal gland, so what's the point, right? Most people can feel the pineal gland, so I just focus on seven. Works every time, just the way six would. <clears throat> so these are the five steps that I teach. Exhale all the way. Suck your stomach in. Squeeze your perineum as you breathe in. Attention and breath goes all the way up. Tighten your back by just lowering your shoulders and just tightening your back, right? And then you just hold. You simply hold with an attention up here. You're inspiring energy from your heart to go to your brain. And you will feel it in some cases when you get good at it, okay? If it doesn't work, you're just not that good. Keep practicing, right? You didn't jump on the bicycle and you were suddenly a champion. No. Keep doing your work. If you turn yourself blue and you're giving yourself headaches, you're doing it wrong. You tighten nothing above your chest. You don't put any pressure above your chest in your throat or head, nothing. You are only tightening up to here, up to your chest, with your back tight, upper chest full of air. And you tighten your stomach like your body had punched. And you squeeze your perineum front and back. And you just hold. Works like magic. So, what I just described is when you're doing it, you should do it enough times where you're not asking yourself, what was next? What was I supposed to do? No, because you want, you want your attention to go to your perineum, your stomach, your air, your tightened back, attention at the seven. That's so many things to pay attention to that you shouldn't even have room to be thinking. You shouldn't have room to be having a conversation. You become what you have been learning in the think box. And you are just being it, right? You first believe that you can move energy. You first believe you're a powerful mystical being. And then you do it a couple times. And you will obviously question, oh, I forgot to do this. I forgot. It doesn't matter. Close your eyes and do it again. So you go from believing it right? And you behave, you're starting to do things, and then you become, you become it. Those are the three different layers. You learn and believe that you can do it, have some trust and faith in you, then you start practicing. That's where you're going through the river of change, right? And as you're going through the river of change, you are slowly getting so good at doing it without thinking and questioning and analyzing that you then become, that's the third level, and as you become, now you are entering into different layers of mastery, right? So I hope this helps. Give it a shot. Let me know how it worked. And if you have any further questions, let me know. I'll redo the video. I will address it more because I'm really coming after you with this breath. Too many people are struggling with this, and I want to help as much as possible. If I have to explain it 10 different ways, I will explain it 10 different ways. Okay? Love you.